Oh, furious is the way to describe Chicago Police Superintendent Eddie Johnson's reaction. Yes, CBS 2 Suzanne Lamignot is live at police headquarters. Suzanne Johnson was rightfully so, most believed, none too pleased, huh? Johnson was completely blindsided, he says, and he was not even aware of the developments, not even getting a phone call from the state's attorney's office so he would even know about this decision. Do I think justice will serve? No. I think this city is still old an apology. Police sources say the evidence was overwhelming, pointing to actor Jesse Smollett orchestrating his own racist and homophobic attack. Sources say the investigation cost up to six figures. Johnson says his job was to investigate the incident, gather the facts and evidence, and present them to the state's attorney. And that's exactly what was done in this case. I've been a cop now for about 31 years. When I came on this job, I came on with my honor, my integrity, and my reputation. If someone accused me of doing anything that would circumvent that, then I would want my day in court, period, to clear my name. I've heard that they wanted their day in court with TV cameras so America could know the truth, but no, they chose to hide behind secrecy and broker a deal to circumvent the judicial system. Now, sources say the detectives worked hundreds of hours on this case, and just a short time ago, CBS News learned that manpower came at a cost of between $150,000 and $175,000. We're live at Chicago Police Headquarters. Suzanne Lemigneau, CBS 2 News. Thank you, Suzanne.